All right, this is how to get a power cable from the engine bay to inside the cabin slash to the trunk for an aftermarket subwoofer, an amp installation in a 2013 Volkswagen CC. Um, this does also work on some of the Passat chassis. Um, you will not be able to do this if you have a manual. Um, this is the two liter turbo with the DSG gearbox. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do is, um, you're gonna wanna pull all these plastic trays out, covering the battery. Then you're gonna need a 10 mil and a 13 mil. Um, 10 mil on the positive side, and then a 13 and a 10 on the negative side. You wanna pull that battery out, tuck this away, everything. Um, then you wanna push these wires to the side. And then you will see down there that there's a little rubber grommet. Um, now let's go to the inside. Oh, one thing. You're also going to need a 13 mil socket and extension with a wrench to remove the battery tie down, which will be just sitting right down here. Then you're going to want to come inside. And this is where I was having trouble finding it. So you're going to want to take a size 20 Torx bit. There's going to be three screws, one right here, one right here, and then one in this corner. Um, you also want to pull out this little glove box right here. It's very easy. Just pull it down, push these tabs up, slides right out. Um, so pull down this plastic piece. You're going to want to push down this other insulation. It will be up in here like that. Then um, you'll see a little cutout in this big gray wall of insulation. It's kind of hard to find. It blends in really well. You're going to want to pull that out. This is the part that I got lost at. So pull that out. Get up in there. You'll see the grommet go up top again. Push it through. Pull it out. Poke a hole in it. Run your wire. Put it back in. Run it to the engine bay. Again, this is a 2013 Volkswagen CC. It does work on some of the Passat chassis. Um, only if you have the automatic or the DSG. If you have a third pedal, this obviously won't work because we're accessing that hole for the wire. And then just run your wires through here to the trunk. You're good to go. So hopefully this video helps. Um, this insulation piece was the most confusing part for me. So yeah.